So we've talked about belief, faith, humility, grace, forgiveness, other things. And one of the themes that they all have, and one, of, one of the things they all have in common is their traits, their, their virtues that we all find desirable across the human race. Uh, so what makes this specific uh, to Christianity? Well, our belief behind all of this is that God created the universe and these, he created these, this world of goodness. And these are desirable traits that represent goodness. This is all his creation. So obviously, if we are his creation and we are created in his image, then uh, then these would be things that we would we would strive to to meet. Um, and not meeting these things will give us um, feelings of guilt or failure. So that's what we're driving to, and that's why we've been explaining it. Now you've noticed that I haven't really quoted any quoted any scripture, vaguely referenced it from time to time, and uh, that's the purpose behind this is um, to kind of give you a slow build into uh, believing in Christianity. If this is, if you're actually getting things out of this, I hope you are. Um, but I thought maybe a slow approach, a uh, you dipping your toes into the water before really diving into to the Bible um, might give you a great understanding ahead of time what Christianity is all about. These are about good things, not judgment being judgmental not being ostracizing not looking down on people or condescending um these are traits that sometimes we see around us that uh that we don't like and it drive and it's and it's it exists inside churches today not all churches uh but enough of them that we have a problem um, we have the same problem that probably every place that if you look at any place where people put belief or or any type of strong emotions You'll find corruption. You'll find people in place either purposefully or accidentally there um, to take advantage of the situation and not for, and not for good means. Um, sometimes uh, folks do it because they naturally seek um, seek leverage over others. Some people seek it because they they feel like they need to be better than somebody else. Like they need to feel good and and have an enemy uh, or have people that. Um, that they look down upon. That's not the way to do it. And that is something maybe you've experienced. It's something we've, I've talked about before. This is a problem within the church, and this is why choosing a correct church um, is important for you as we move forward. Now, who am I to tell you this? Well, I'm a nobody. My name's Stuart Davis. I'm a deacon at a small church just outside of Richmond, Virginia. I'm not a pastor, I'm not a biblical scholar or missionary. I'm not trying to get you to join my congregation or to donate to any, um, any cause or, or charity. Um, what I'm here to do is give you some exposure to get you to better understand um, that the Christians around you, Christians you may know or not know, um, are, are not unlike anybody else. We're not better or worse. What we do is we, we, we share a common faith um, in God. And what we believe is is the true God of the universe, and working towards um, working towards spending an eternity with Him, and uh, and hopefully bringing others with us, because uh, who would who wants to spend eternity alone, right? So, again, with, this is something that that we're working towards. And when I start this um, this walkthrough of the Bible, um, I want there to be context ahead of time, because we're going to do it in order. Um, the, uh, the thing that I find that kind of always kind of confused me as a kid growing up in church was why the pastor, you know, would always pick out, you know, it, it almost seems, seemed like they, the scriptures were picked at random because, you know, he was trying to make a point and, you know, this particular passage fit well with the theme of what he was preaching about and it was a good reference point. But what you lose in that, I think, it's context, and one of the things I gained um, from going through, reading through the Bible was context on what was going on, especially in the Old Testament. Um, what, what you don't understand where everybody's coming from. If it's like going into the middle of, of any book, in any middle of any chapter, and trying to read and trying to figure out what's going on. Now, you can probably parse out how a character is feeling or what they're driving towards, but you don't know all the motivating factors behind it. You don't know the background behind it. 
And that's what, uh, that's what's sometimes missing in the Bible. And for somebody coming in um, that's kind of new to it, um, you may not know what, you know, what, where that person is coming from. It might make it more difficult for you to relate to them. So that's why we're going to do it this way. Um, and hopefully you will get as much enjoyment out of it as I did. Um, we're going to try to make this as, uh, as entertaining as possible. I want you guys to keep coming back. I want you to be drawn to it and get things out of it because this, I've been doing this because, I'll have to excuse my computer. I've been doing this because um, discipleship's difficult for me. It's difficult to me to come up and, and, uh, and start a cold conversation with somebody. And it's always been difficult for me to, to reconcile things with as much belief as I, as I feel like I have. Uh, not being able to go up and start a conversation with somebody and be like, hey, what do you think about Jesus? And not feel in the back of my head that I'm really freaking this person out just call it, talking to him about this. And it might be somebody I don't know. It might be somebody I do know and work with. And now all of a sudden things get really awkward, right? So one of the things I, I thought of is how do I, out, how do I reach out to people um, with, this, with this great this great faith uh, that I have. Uh, because once I start talking about, about God, it's sometimes difficult to get me to shut, shut up about it. So that's what I've, um, so that's what I've been working on. Uh, one of the things I've been working on is trying to reach out. And that's why I'm trying to reach out to you. What I, I thought to myself, what is the, um, what is the thing that people, people that I've had discussions with talk most about and, and, it usually, usually revolves around, um, I don't go to church. I don't like the people. Um, and a lot of, I think that, that that is, that is somewhat incumbent on us as Christians that we have set the wrong standard. Um, some of it is, uh, societal perception, um, because they, there are folks out there who just like to see, uh, good things torn down. Um, and, and it, and it, it, it's, it sells stories, right? Um, if, if we're just a, a happy church and, and everybody's doing the right thing, you know, everybody, you might drive by and go, Hey, that's nice. I'm glad I'm happy for those folks. I'm happy that they've, they found something. But if I tell you that there's a scandal going on and that somebody might be embezzling money or, you know, abusing their power, now all of a sudden you're intrigued. Now you want to know about it. And that's why these stories sell. And that's why you hear about them when they happen. Um, it's big news. But that's not to say that, that um, you know, alienation away from our faith is, is an uncommon common thing. It is common. Unfortunately, it is. And like I said, um, that, that's, a, that's a side effect of us all being um, flawed people. I have a lot of anger and resentment when I see that go on specifically. Uh, when I see that kind of, what I, what I view as, as fake Christianity, um, and I... And I'm, and I'm very frustrated by it uh, because I want, I don't want things pushing you away. I don't want to have, to, I don't want to do this video for people who, who have been pushed away, but I feel like I have to because I know it's, I know it exists and I don't want you to be punished um, or put in a bad position because somebody else misrepresented something great. Somebody else gave you the, gave you a bad impression of something that I feel is integral to your your spiritual well being being, I want you to know that we are good people, and while we we struggle, and and we have our problems, and sometimes you uh, others are on the receiving end of that, that you know we want we want you to be with us. We we want you to share in this um, share in this great story, um, in this great faith, and more importantly than us um, as Christians. Want, who wants you to join in, God's waiting for you to do it too. There are so many reasons to be, to, to believe in him. And I hope that we, I've laid out a little bit of it in my first video. Hopefully more as we go and we have more discussions. I want you to, I want you to really, really grasp the, um, the gravity of that 
and I want you to find something that you maybe you've been looking for. I want you to find something that will be a life altering, um, a, a life altering thing for you. It has been before, not a, not just day to day, not just you know talking to a friend or or a family member who you think might who was saved one day or uh, or just started going to church and found found uh, meaning in life. But it's in the Bible too. There are stories of stories of people who who didn't believe or were actively doing the wrong thing. Bam, life's changed, and they become heroes and inspirations to many of us um, for ages and generations. Imagine that. Imagine, imagine um, the actions that you could have could um, affect people around you for years to come. Anyways, so this is just kind of a a, a wrap up. Uh, we're not we're not done completely talking about the different virtues that uh, we seek to have and that um, we we discuss in Christianity. We're not we're not going to uh, not talk about some of the other topics of Christianity, which might be giving might give folks pause. Um, but I kind of wanted to wrap this up because we have wrapped this portion up. Because um, we have had several episodes and discussions about it. And I think that uh, moving towards uh, branching out a little bit with discussions with Bible um, passages um, and discussions on hot topics is right around the corner. And I, I hope that you, you, are, you are there viewing with me. If not, I hope you find it somewhere else. But if you do appreciate what I've been doing, if you, you want to continue uh, hearing my words, uh, like and subscribe to this channel and uh, leave a comment below. Good, bad, or indifferent, let me know. I, I thrive on feedback and I'd, uh, I'd love to hear what you have to say. And, uh, and hopefully, hopefully you see more, you see more videos of me and, uh, and I hope I make a difference. I definitely pray for it. Um, it's, it's something that, uh, it's something that if this all pays off, um, and I, and I do make I make an impact on at least one or two people. Um, it would be exciting for me. Anyways, you guys uh, take care of yourselves. Godspeed and God bless.